Good morning, welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am PJ. <clears throat> so, I've, I've spoken about this a little bit in the past. Uh, World War III is in the offing. How is that going to affect you? I don't know, but probably not in good ways, right? Anything from food shortages and more authoritarian control over your life to fallout, right? You pick, uh, but that's definitely coming. Um, not just food shortages, but other commodity shortages, right? Things will get harder. <clears throat> That's one. Two, uh, I believe natural disasters are fixing the kickoff. You know, anything from earthquakes, volcanoes, tsunamis, meteors, you know, whatever. Uh, these are possibilities. Financial collapse, right? Everybody's saying this house of cards is, is ready to fall. <clears throat> you know this. It's why you're on a prepper channel. I get that. So here's five. And maybe not for you. Maybe you can uh, share them with friends and family who are just waking up and going, wow, everything doesn't seem right. Perhaps I should do something, but I wouldn't know where to begin. Five simple things you can do uh, relatively soon, fairly quickly, to get ready to greatly enhance your ability to survive what's coming. Now, I said simple. I didn't say easy. I didn't say necessarily inexpensive, although eh, they can be. Um, but they're simple, meaning you can you can get on it and get it done. Are you ready? Again, simple. It, one of the ways you can avoid many of the problems that are coming is to get out of those built up areas. Come out of her, my people, lest you partake of her sins and receive of her plagues. Right? Move. Get away from the bit. But that's not simple. Moving's not simple. So these are five simple things. All right, the first thing is this, food. Food. Uh, you need to immediately, I I'm talking like this weekend, if you don't already, and again, many of you are preppers, but you can write this down and share it with your friends and family. Seriously. Uh, immediately, you should have two weeks worth of food that you don't need to leave the house to prepare and eat. Comfortable eating, two weeks worth of food. That's immediate, but you're not done. That's not the simple part. Next thing you have to do is very quickly, I'm talking in, in a couple weeks, move to six months worth of food. Six months worth of food. You don't need to buy My Patriot Supply. You can if you want. Um, you don't need to do anything like that. You can just go to the grocery store and buy things in boxes and jars and cans. Six months worth of food. Don't cheat yourself. Really six months worth of food. Don't tell yourself I'm going to eat a can of vegetables and, and that'll be my meal. No. Six months worth of food. And then as quickly as you can, once you get to that six months, but keep pushing, don't stop. You need to get at least a year, maybe a year and a couple months of food stored up. Why? Because planting cycles and things like that, something could fail and you need something to get you through. Volcanic ash could come all over your garden. You need something to get you through. So a little over a year, uh, is what you need to work towards. But immediately, like this weekend, two weeks, very quickly, uh, in just a couple of weeks from now, uh, you should have six months worth of food and then work towards a year plus. That's the first thing. Related to that, because I'm fond of saying once you open up your emergency food, uh, you start the stopwatch to your starvation. What are you gonna do when that last can of beans does run out? You have to produce food. And so simple, plant a garden. Whenever your last frost date is, and you can look that up online, get good at growing food. Start now. It's simple. It is simple to grow tomatoes. It is simple to grow onions. You can do it. Um, almost anywhere you live, you can grow food. And I've talked about that a lot. So you need to start producing food. You need to produce meat. This right now is hooked up to a rabbit system. Um, that's what you hear bouncing around on the side here. Uh, I feed them to my dogs. You need to be able to produce uh, meat of one kind or another, unless you're a vegetarian. Uh, and then you need to be able to produce more and different kinds of veg, right? And then related to food also is you need to be good at foraging what's available in your local area. Not the concept, not the idea. Yeah, I could do that. No, you need to do it. You need to go hunting. You need to go fishing if, if that is available in your area. And it's simple. 
to go hunting. It's not easy. It's not uh, simple to be successful at hunting. <clears throat> There's a learning curve. There's a learning curve in gardening, um, but it's simple to start. So get started. Spring's coming. Get on it. That's your food. Get some food. Have the ability to produce more. <clears throat> and that is uh, growing and foraging, you know, hunting, fishing, going out in the woods and picking uh, walnuts. We do that. All right, that kind of thing. <clears throat> Number two, water. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> More coffee is indicated. You need to develop immediately, soon, a water catchment system. You need to catch water from the sky. <laughs> Unless you live near East Palestine or South Palestine or whatever, the, the biochemical warfare site in Ohio. Um, yeah, uh, you need to develop a water catchment system. Meaning, how are you going to catch the water off your roof? Again, because I'm probably going to put this video on YouTube and people there aren't quite as serious on YouTube as they are here on Patreon. Um, don't think, yeah, I could do that. I could do that. No, you need to do it. You need to have a water catchment system. You need to be able to catch water. Now, if you happen to live someplace where there's a creek running through your property, <coughs> okay, then figure it out. How are you going to harness that water uh, to use for drinking, cooking, bathing, washing clothes, washing dishes, that kind of thing? Oh, but you need to do that. And then this weekend, you need to put up a two-week supply of water in your residence. That's typically listed, it's fair, uh, a gallon per person per day. That's enough water to drink, to live. It's a little for cooking and a minute a bit for cleaning up, but at least a gallon per person per day. If you have five people in your household, that's five times 14 gallons of water. Yep, you need to do that. You need to put that water up. It needs to be available. So it's simple, right? Water, water's simple. You don't even think about it on the average day. Uh, you need water and you need the ability to get more. So that's the other one. Third, this is the one everybody hates to hear me say, and they groan. They groan. Oh, PJ's on that kick again. You need to get fit. You need to get fit. It's simple. It is simple to get fit. It's not easy, but it's simple. <laughs> you need to be able to move very rapidly, very quickly. You need to be able to move far. You need to be able to lift heavy things. You need to be able to stretch in different ways without making things go boing. Um, endurance, strength, speed, agility. You need those things. This is not the video to tell you how to do that, but it you don't have to spend a bazillion dollars in, in, to do it. <laughs> Walk out your front door and start doing things. <laughs> But you have to do it with intention, and you have to get breathing hard, and you have to sweat. And I used to have a rule of thumb. I think I'm going to bring it back. Uh, you should get a full sweat on every day, like pouring out of your body sweat from exercise, not from sitting in a sauna. Um, you should do that every day. But you need to work out. You need to get fitter because what's coming? Physicality is going to count. And the strong survive. And if you're weak, you're going to fall by the wayside. And I don't want that for you. So get stronger. Quit doing the thing. Look, diet and exercise, right? You know what to do. So do I. Um, <clears throat> so what are we at? Three. I had a card here. There it is. Oh, I did not want to forget. Food, water, workout. Oh, this side. Food, water, workout. Again, many of you are not going to like this. You're not. I know you're not. It doesn't mean you don't need to do it. And this is the least simple of the five things I'm going to tell you. You need to learn to fight. Yeah. You need to learn to fight. You need to be able to handle yourself. I don't care if you're a 65-year-old woman. You need to be able to handle yourself. If you are an American, you need to own a handgun and be well-trained in its use. There's no excuse. Get yourself a handgun and get some training. Uh, 
at a minimum, you should take the equivalent of Combat Combat Handgun 101. Different schools offer it under different names, but it's basically Combat Handgun 101. It's going to teach you how to draw, shoot, multiple targets, reload, deal with malfunctions. That's basically what Combat 101 teaches, Combat Handgun 1. Uh, it's usually a two-day class, and any more it probably costs when you factor in everything except travel and hotel if you need that, which you probably will. Uh, you're probably pushing uh, $800. I know. I know. But it is the best available means to defend yourself if you're an American. If you're not an American and you cannot get a handgun or you're not willing to carry one in, in your country in contravention of the laws, which is probably a good idea. Um, you need to learn how to fight. And personally, I think everybody should know how to physically fight anyway. Uh, but you need to find yourself a Krav Maga gym or, you know, women. You need to take a good women's self-defense class, like where you're rolling on the ground and striking and things like that. Um, boxing, anything. Look, guys. Uh, you're going to have to get a little bit dinged up and a little bit bruised up learning how to fight. Um, but you need to do it, unfortunately. Um, and like I said, it's the least simple of the five things I'm going to discuss today. But you need to be able to defend yourself and those you love. Uh, if you live in a place where you can carry a walking stick or, you know, rattan sticks and you want to learn Filipino martial arts, awesome. You know, whatever. Whatever you can do uh, where you are. Uh, you need to start training on that. The best martial, I've been training in martial arts since I was about 10 uh, of various kinds. The best martial arts training I ever received, and it happened repeatedly throughout my life, was free. Was free. Uh, it was from people who just had a love of teaching and they were looking for people who had a love of learning. <clears throat> so it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money, but it probably will. Um, but if you're an American, get yourself a handgun, learn how to use it, in, in, in a combat type situation and uh, carry it. So that's that. And then the last one is simple, but again, it might not be easy. Uh, you need to put together an emergency stash of cash. An emergency stash of cash. Uh, Dave Ramsey used to say, I haven't, I haven't listened to talk radio for 10 years, but Dave Ramsey used to say $1,000. Put, put aside $1,000 that you can just touch. Um, I think a month, a month of uh, income, whatever you make, whatever your household makes in a month, you should have that stashed away in cash that you can put your hands on. Typically, uh, what I tell people is bury it. Uh, why? Because fire won't get it, moths won't eat it, um, robbers won't steal it. You know, just put it in that flower garden, in that uh, tomato patch that you're building. Just bury a, a canning jar in there. Check on it every now and then, make sure it's okay. Uh, but you need to put some cash because uh, in the immediacy of any kind of a big situation, cash is king. And ain't people making change, so putting in a bunch of hundreds isn't going to help you. Twenties, fives, and ones, right? Um, or whatever, if, if you're dealing in euros or denarii or whatever. <clears throat> But that's it, gang. Uh, get yourself squared away on food. Get yourself squared away on water. Get yourself fitter, fitter, in better shape. Um, learn how to fight. Be prepared to fight and have some cash put aside, set aside uh, for you to use when you need it. They're simple. They're simple. Uh, they're not easy. Some of them aren't cheap. Uh, but you could do it. You could do a lot of this very quickly. You could sign up for a combat handgun course probably in the next month, somewhere. You could probably do it. Um, so, yeah, you could get all this done very quickly. And unfortunately, I think you have to, if you're not already there. I'm interested in your comments. You probably have eight other things that you think are important. Cool. List them. <laughs> But I think those five will see you well uh, for what's coming. All right. I appreciate y'all. I will see you out there.